In a secluded part of the world, there lay a mystical forest known as the Whispering Woods. The trees stood tall and ancient, their leaves rustling with secrets of old. With Welcome back to our channel. Today, I am going to show you how I created this cartoon animation video using Create Studio software. I used the Create Studio standard version to make this video. I am not going to explain everything step by step. I am just going to show you how I created different elements of this video and put them together. So, let's get started. By the way, you can watch this clip of approximately one minute which I exclusively created for this demo at the end of this video. Okay, let's continue further. As I mentioned already, I divided the whole video creation process into four main parts. First, I started with the script for the cartoon animation video. For this, I used ChatGPT. I just gave a simple prompt asking ChatGPT to write me a script for a children's story as a third-person narrative. Once that was written, I needed a voiceover for the video. For this, I used Eleven Labs. I am sure you are already aware of this tool. If not, it is a text-to-speech software that converts your text into human-sounding voiceovers. I just pasted my script into the text editor, chose a voice suited for a narrative story, and generated the voice. By the way, inside Eleven Labs you have access to hundreds of voices which can be used for different voiceover needs. Once that was done, I downloaded the voiceover file and saved it on my computer. Now, I needed image files to be used in the animation video, especially for backgrounds. For that, I again returned to ChatGPT and used the Doll E module to create images I needed. I gave a simple prompt to generate these images. The prompt was, create an image for a children's storybook based on the following description. Make it photorealistic and wide. Here's the description. And then, I pasted the description from the script. Each result gave me two outputs. I created all my images like that. Once that was done, next step was to put it all together. For this, I used the Create Studio software. I have access to the standard version, which you can get for a one-time payment of $67. That gives lifetime access to the software. Now let me show you how to do it. Let's open the Create Studio software. Let's start a new project. Once inside, head over to the media section and import all the necessary files, which in this case include the voice over file and the images. Once that's done, let's start creating our cartoon video. First, I will add the voiceover. Now, based on the script, we will start adding our video elements and graphics. For example, the opening sentence of my script was, In a secluded part of the world, there lay a mystical forest known as the Whispering Woods. So for this scene, I used a forest background and a few characters from the Create Studio library. That go well with the story. Just go to the Studio section and type Forest in the search bar you will be shown all the assets related to the keyword you just entered. Some of them are free and available for our use. By the way, if you want access to all the assets, you will have to upgrade to All Access Pass for additional $27 per month. However, for this demo, let's use the free assets. I chose this one for the video. Just download it, click and drag it onto the timeline. This timeline size is adjustable. Also, you can easily adjust the canvas size and the position from here. Let's also adjust the image to coincide with the voiceover. Now I want to add some entry and exit animation to this background. To do that, click on the image and go to the motion settings on the left panel. Here there are different types of movements you can add to the asset. For example, I can choose the scale animation and then down, which gives this effect. Now, this is my intro animation. Select out from here and add your desired animation, which becomes the outro animation.
Now, to add characters to the scene, we need to go back to the studio again. Let me search for a bird. I am going to use this Toucan bird. Just drag and drop it onto the timeline and resize it. I can position it wherever I want. Now, to add action to the character, just click on it and choose a desired action from here. We can add a series of actions if we need to by clicking on the Add New action. Similarly, you can add different characters to the scene based on your story. Let's watch another clip from the video I created. Now, let's see how to make the characters move as seen in this clip, which is actually pretty easy to do. Let's add a new background and a character. Now I will add the flying action to the character. But this only results in the character performing the flying action. The bird itself isn't moving. Now to add movement, right click on the character on the timeline and add animation by selecting the position option. This adds two keyframes to the track. The first keyframe is where the character's initial position is, and the second one is where it will end up. So I will bring the cursor here and the bird here for the final position. Now, if I play the video, you can see that the bird is flying and moving, giving it a realistic effect. The speed of this animation can be adjusted by increasing or decreasing the distance between these keyframes. Next, there is the doodle animation effect. With this, we can make any character or image look like it is being drawn by a hand. To do that, we just need to select an image, go to the effects section, and then drag and drop the doodle effect over the image or the character. We can customize the hand size, shaking, etc. from here. We can also change the hand if we want. The length of the doodle animation can be adjusted by dragging this slider. Next there is another scene where you can see this arrow coming from down. This is just an animated element inside the Create Studio Asset Library, which I added to the scene. In this particular scene, I added these characters and chose the sitting action to do this animation. Drag the background and place it onto the timeline. Then go to the Characters section and choose the 3D characters you want. Drag them onto the canvas. Place them where you want them to be and choose the sitting action. That's it. Next comes the scene where a spotlight falls on the bark of the tree while it's snowing. To do that, go to the Effects section, select Components, and choose the Focus Light element. Drag and position it on the canvas where you want it to appear. Similarly, we can choose Particles and place them on the canvas to give the snowing effect. We can also change the shape, count, and size of the particles, and more. This brings us to the next scene, where the hero of the story, Eli, skates and bikes. Add the background and the character, 
Choose the skateboarding action and then add animation, as we did in the second slide, when adding the animation movement to the bird. Right click, choose animation, select position and add keyframes, and position the character. That's it! To add the biking action, choose that. Swipe the direction of the character if needed, and add animation. I also added a globe to this scene, which was available inside the Create Studio asset library. Finally, to bring depth to the story, I added music effects wherever needed. You can use royalty-free music sites to download these background music files. Now here's the video I created. In a secluded part of the world, there lay a mystical forest known as the Whispering Woods. The trees stood tall and ancient, their leaves rustling with secrets of old. This forest was alive with enchantment, and at its heart, there existed a unique tree, unlike any other, known as the Echo Tree. The Echo Tree was said to hold the memories of the forest, whispering stories to those who would listen. Its bark shimmered with a faint glow, and its leaves seemed to hum with a melody of the ages. It was under this tree that a young boy named Eli found refuge. Eli was an inquisitive child, always eager to explore the mysteries of the world. He had heard tales of the Echo Tree and its magical properties, and he yearned to uncover its secrets. One crisp autumn morning, he set off on his journey, his heart full of excitement and wonder. As you just saw, you can create cool animation videos like these, using Create Studio software, even as a beginner. Your creativity is limited only by your imagination. I will leave a link in the description below for you to check out the software. I hope you liked this video. I will see you in the next one.